Every relationship requires extra commitment. That's how we know my husband is different from my colleague. Yes? Long distance relationships require their own unique commitment. Right. Which means extra is the word. So if you don't like porn, don't, don't watch, watch porn. It. Does it affect the relationship in any way in terms of expectation? Porn is a tool if you use it as a tool. What do you think of sex timetables? Tutakuwa ni mande sa nane ya usiku. Yes. <laughs> because I've seen people. Vile kunaenda. We are rate. busy. Oh. <laughs> What's your... <laughs> yeah, how about self-pleasure? What about Does you? it help when there is a, the, the fluctuation yeah. in that I want to have sex three times a day, but yes. my husband can only meet me halfway at 1.5 or yes. one. Yes. So the rest can I sell pleasure? Sometimes it's you can get a toy, but please don't get a toy that's bigger than me. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. tafadhali, they can deal with the one that looks like a flower. But you know, like... <laughs>so before we went for a break mm -hmm. uh, so um we had talked about solutions but we'll get to the solution slightly mm -hmm. midlife crisis yes does it come into play yes uh, and does it affect the fluctuation yes. and also familiarity yes so yes yes and yes, yes. okay yes yeah midlife crisis is about it's a it's a stage of development yeah right where you begin to panic about i haven't accomplished as much i haven't done as much my friends are doing and there's even a quarter life crisis right is, there's a quarter okay yes yeah, yes, yes. Yeah. i mean and and this is part of human life so human life is not a straight line yes yeah there's ups and downs even those who are let's say believers christians they will you will see that jesus was not in a great jesus -y mood every day <laughs> Yeah, there's a time he threw people I out mean, of the temple. <laughs> the temple, yeah. he cursed a fig tree for not having figs. I mean, he had his moment. Mm. The reason I say that is that the expectation that your sex life should be the same is not only wrong, it's to me actually indicative of a problem. And I'll tell you why. Okay. Only dead things don't grow and only dead things don't shift. Mm. So if we lost this microphone today and found it 20 years from today, yeah. it would be the exact same size, the exact same length, the exact same width, because it is a dead thing. Things that have life in them. Remember, we're talking about your sex life, your marital oh, life. life, your relationship life. Life oh, wow. sometimes has ups and, and it has downs. downs. It has sometimes that are deep and meaningful and other times when you're coasting, it even has seasons of being at a plateau when nothing is really going on. Okay. This is true for your life. It's true for your food appetite. It's true for your sex life. So if you told me my sex life at 20 is exactly the same as my sex life at 40, I already know I am looking at a lifelessness in an aspect of your life. Because it's not possible. Because sex involves two people who are in constant evolution. Okay. And so your sex life will be in constant evolution. evolution. So even now, the way we started the show, we might have been thinking, should I start now? Which yeah. camera should I look at? Should I ask this question, right? In this where we are now, we can do three, four, seven shows and yeah. like with our eyes closed because there's an evolution has taken place, yeah. right? Yeah. Or maybe it could be opposite. You could have a guest and things are just not clicking. So you have to go back in your mind and say, how can I get this guest yeah. to click into the show? Yeah. This is what happens with our sex lives. Sometimes you're unwell, you're a bit low. Mm. Sometimes your business is doing really great and your sex life is bad. Remember I said yeah, you don't have time. Be, you don't have time. But sometimes your business is doing really well and you're hot and heavy and ready to go. Sometimes your sense of adventure is low and sometimes your sense of adventure is okay. high. So what you want to take care of is the context around your sex life. Yeah. And then the sex itself begins to actually shift into place. Okay. What do I mean by that? If you have conflict in your relationship, begin to address that. Okay. Right? If the way you talk to each other in the house is a bit disrespectful, 
begin to address that. If you know you don't talk in the morning very much and it's making you moody and just not nice to your partner, you can literally say, babe, so you know I love you. But before 9 a.m. Snyongeleshe. To patiane tu, nasiko ubaya, nasiwewe, okay, it's me. I had a boss who used to tell me that. Right. I had a boss who used to tell me. That's a very clever boss. Don't talk to me before 10 a.m. Even if you come, just stay in your office. Stay in your lane and don't <laughs> oh bother God. me. <laughs> and you know, one thing couples don't talk about is some of us are early birds and some of us are night owls. So then I'm an early bird and I go to bed and say, My husband doesn't like me. He doesn't want to sleep with me because when I go to bed, he doesn't join me. Babe, your husband lives with the night owls. He's working and awake and creating and planning at 11 p.m. If you're not aware that as individuals, the way you function directly impacts your sex life, you can't address it. Yeah, you brought me to this communication beat. Yes. How do we do it? Because you're constantly told it's not what you say, It's how you say it. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Yes. Remember already, this is a tough conversation to have in itself. Yes. You know, expressing, oh, I am not satisfied. I don't like the way, you know, how do you go about it yeah. so that you still, especially men and the ego, my goodness. Yes. You still take care of that <laughs> and you still take care of you. <laughs> so let me tell you, there are different ways depending on the sort of couple you are. Yeah. Like I'm a sanguine person. I'm a bubbly person. So I joke a lot. So any partner who's my partner is going to know that is going to receive the joking thing. Some of us are serious. We're very like, you know, yeah. I'm a headmaster, I'm a headmistress. Asa kwa nyumba. Kwa nyumba mm. ni So first of all, kwa nyumba, eka yo bambo chini. Yeah, headmaster, headmistress. <laughs> Because sex is about playing. How much playing do you want to do with a headmaster? <laughs> None. <laughs> I mean, None at all. you don't want to do anything. In fact, you want to straighten your tie and you say, sit properly. Shimiwa, utakula ugali leo. I'm not kula. But also have a sense of humor in the home. Have um, what you would call your own state of the union meetings, right? Have conversations. State of the union. It's, state, It's like the state of the nation. Once I get dressed, you can say, Sweetie, I'd like to call for a state of the union address. <laughs> and because as a headmaster, I know you value suits and ties. What were pattern a sitting room? 6.13 p.m. Now, uvae, uvae, suit in a tie, na mintava pumps. Mintava to heels. Like you love to a notebook. What it does, the ludicrousness of it. It's it's ludicrous. Okay. 6.17. Who's looking at the clock at 6.17? Yeah. But it, it implies that something is important, but she's making or he's making the effort to de-escalate. Okay. We want to do what we call a soft startup. Okay. A softened startup. If it's about dissatisfaction, yeah. which is more sensitive, you can say, Can we can we do a Q&A where we ask each other questions? And what time? Because also I feel like timing is very important. Okay. First of all, close on. Close on. 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 Full. Whether you're having sex with close on or off, I told you I don't get into your business. Yeah. But when it comes to communication about close sex, on. please dress up. Number two, the bedroom is off limits. Don't have that conversation in no. the bedroom. Don't have it in the bedroom. And if possible, have it outside the home. Another thing is men generally, and I say generally, please don't write me and say not all men. I know that. Yeah. Generally, men don't do well with the way you and me are doing. Oh. See what we do? It looks like a confrontation, no? For us, this is intimate. Yes. For us, this is, I mean, before we started, I whispered something to you, yeah. right? Because for, for us, this is friendship and love yeah. and joy. When I sit like this with a man who is regardless of whether he's my man or not, they tend to experience more anxiety in their body. This is why statements like we need to talk don't work very well with men. Okay. Whereas if I text you and say we need to talk, I'll tell you, girl, I have two o'clock or three o'clock. Nothing about you intimidates me. Yeah. Um, men do better when they are side by side. Okay. So even to say, Sweetie, come help me with something so we can also chit chat of something i want to tell you yeah right? you can make suggestions you can tease i told you i'm i'm, I'm yeah. bubbly so for me i might ask something like siti what are you listen as you buy when you are biting my lip unataka tu nitembeange na mdomo ya juu peke yake bila ya chini you know 
<laughs> it's, it's so silly. <laughs> yeah. Because he might say me sikukuuma. I say should you angalia? I have like teeth marks. <laughs> Sirikali will ask me why What's I'm going missing a lip. Me? <laughs> right, but what he gets from me is that this silly this yeah. silliness is trying to tell me something. Yeah. Sometimes you can say, "Come let me tell you something." Because maybe your husband or wife is not a good kisser. In your opinion, because we don't know whether they're previous yeah, partners. Yeah, kiss someone else and like maybe they're in the Guinness Book of World Records. It's you <laughs> who's not kiss. loving their kiss. So also humble yourself a bit. Eh? You're not you're not the standard. But if it's let's say kissing, you can say, "Sweetie, come, let me tell you something." Kiss him or her. And when they start kissing you, that maybe intense way that you don't like, you can say, "Slow down, sweetie, slow down." Akuna safari rally hapa pole 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 what they see is oh okay and then the minute your partner does something you like yeah please upload it shangwe na vigelegele okay i exaggerate because we know what my nature is uh, yeah but moan a little bit okay you can say, a little bit can, can you do that again okay you can say ebu 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 ni guza hapa tena ebu one more time Are you getting? Yeah. Because what it tells your partner male or female is oh. Kumbe when I kiss their neck they react like that. Yes. And so you're teaching without being a headmistress ah, about it. Okay. Side by side things like doing dishes together, taking a walk together, cleaning the car together, arranging, you could be doing your closet and him he's on his phone. Mm, okay. Don't feel especially as ladies the pressure to do this. This. Okay. It doesn't work for men. Yeah. But for us ladies, every lady in this studio right now, we can kick all these men out and have the most graphic sex conversation, conversation. and then go home. And then go home and Yeah. But if I ask the men to sit with me like this, okay. What mm. of people is in a long distance distant relationship? How do they go about this thing? Yes. Remember when I said earlier digital sex? Yeah. And I meant these digits. So you mean now they now are Now I need I digits <laughs> connected to a digital device. Okay. But on a serious note, long distance relationships every relationship requires extra commitment. That's how we know my husband is different from my colleague. Yes? Long distance relationship require their own unique commitment. Right. Which means extra is the word. Whereas I may leave the studio and go home to my husband or my wife and life moves on, if you're outside the country, outside the city for whatever reason, I don't have that option. Mm. So it's okay to make use of digital devices. Yeah. You can decide together what sort of erotic content you like. Yeah. Erotic content in my office, there in my life in my work, I hold no judgments about whether you like erotic literature or a lot erotic film v- movies no and when people ask me i used to be a sex columnist and they would say you know i'm addicted to porn but really what they meant is i'm not supposed to like it um yeah. pornography is a genre like horror or comedy right or drama or thriller so me i don't watch horrors so i don't go watching horrors so if you don't like porn don't, don't watch, watch it. porn does it affect the relationship in any way in terms of expectations Porn is a tool if you use it as a tool. Okay. Like right now I could take my glass of water and throw it in your face. Okay. Is the water bad? No. Why not? Well, okay. It's me who misused the yeah, water. Yeah, you misused the water. The water has no problem, yeah. right? It's like alcohol, it was chilling and then you decide to overdo it. It is you. You could have had one glass alcohol of wine. Was chilling. You could have had 10 bottles of wine. It's you who misused it. If you know that you have an addictive personality, mm-hmm. don't stay away, away from, from porn. porn. If you know that pornography in itself offends your values, leave it alone. alone. If you don't want porn but you miss your partner, text them and tell them exactly what you like. And when your partner asks you what are you wearing, you don't have to say ni meva t-shirt ni andikwa sangenge ni ngombe. I mean, I f- we feel attacked. <laughs> <laughs> what you are stalking to our kitchen. And then there are couples who even will pleasure themselves separately. Yeah, how about self pleasure? What about Does you? it help when there is a, the, the fluctuation yeah. in that I want to have sex three times a day but yes. my husband can only meet me 
halfway at 1.5 or yes. 1. Yes. So the rest can I self pleasure? Remember when I said that sex exists on a spectrum? Right. And that all colors are yeah. beautiful? Remember also when I said sex is like a buffet? Self pleasure is on the buffet. And like any other buffet, you take your plate, you pick. Like me, I don't eat fish. You but there are samaki, I just skip it. I don't make a big placard that says fish is terrible. Yeah. Skip the fish, man. So do you? So if self pleasure does not violate, that's my only, my only. Um, let me say my main yeah. thing. Yeah? If self pleasure does not violate your own sense of values as a profession we don't just encourage it we value it there is a lot of value in pleasuring it. yourself okay statistically majority of people walking the planet let me not say majority but a significant number of people on the planet have been sexually violated oh yeah so their experience of their body is different yeah so self-pleasure allows you to reclaim your body back for yourself, yeah. right? Also, does it help you as a man or a woman understand you better yes. so that your partner, next time you're telling your partner, okay, what you want, does yes. it help in that aspect? Yes, it does. Now, self-pleasure, um, one thing I will say in a, in, a, in a relationship, whether you're polygamous or monogamous or whatever, it becomes an issue when it's a secret and it becomes an issue when it's weaponized. So you what should do I mean tell your that? partner. It's not that you should tell them, babe, I'm going to, to, to pleasure myself <laughs> in 10 minutes. Yeah. Although <laughs> there are people who say, look, I'm ready. And if, look at me, I'm getting started. Yeah. <laughs> but it's their own private couple's language where their partner says, in fact, I'm on my way right now. But what I'm talking about on a serious note yeah. is that my partner, if I'm using tools or toys yeah. or whatever, they should not be hidden okay that if my partner saw them it would be a violation of their trust in me ah my partner would know she likes toys sometimes they live and buy my partner may say i don't like that you like toys that allows a conversation sometimes it's about being replaced sometimes it's you can get a toy but please don't get a toy that's bigger than me <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. Tafadali, they can deal with the one that looks like a flower. But you know, like, be, be, be honest about, and there are toys for men and women. Yeah. And sometimes people want toys together. And sometimes they know, I mean, I know she likes to pleasure herself, but it's about her. It's not about yeah, it's not about me. me, which is where the secrecy comes in. Yeah, secrecy in general will ruin your sex life. Okay. If if you're excited and you're in a long distance relationship and you keep it a secret, you know, uh, everything we feel comes out one way or the other. It does. If you're having a toothache right now, you won't laugh as loudly as you're laughing. Yeah. It will affect. Yeah. Something. Eh? It will come out, or it will and it will come out in a way like with other people. Yeah. So if you're in a long distance relationship, it's okay to say, how are we going to handle our sex lives? Wow. It's okay to say, babe, uh, when I miss you, un una suggest nifanya nini na nini? Aha. Right? Yeah. Because then you have options for, for, for naughty pictures, although be with someone you trust. You have options to FaceTime and talk like on WhatsApp. You have options with toys. You can set goals in mind. Yeah. You can fantasize, literally make a list of all the things. Wewe, ile siku nitakufi, ile siku nitakushika, wewe. These are the things. And then you say, utafanya? What, well, exactly what will you do? So that you start to almost taunt each other yeah. in anticipation. Yeah. And make a list. And you know, in those lists, you can even number them so you can dial your phone number with the sex things you want to oh. do. You can... Yeah. Have sex on each other's birthdays. If your birth, like mine is September 21st, 0921, sex position 0 ni, sex okay. position 9 ni. Nine. Okay. So there are, there are ways, but I said it's a special commitment and it's, and it's okay because every relationship has its own requirements. Okay. As we wrap up, what do you think of sex timetables? Tutakuwa ni Monday, Sanane ya usiku. Yes. <laughs> because I've seen people. Vile kunaenda. Enda, we are busy. Oh. <laughs> What's your. <laughs> 
Monday sana na uko umefika. Let me tell you, I agree with them. Oh, you do? I do because they form part of the spectrum of sex. Okay. And part of the joy of sex. And you know what they do? They make you anticipate. So before we met for this segment, we already went to bed knowing tomorrow I'm taping, what do I want mm. to wear? How do I want to look? Right? We prepared. We prepared. Now, does it have to be the only way? It can be a mix of things. Some people truly are busy. Even in my own practice. Yeah. Long before COVID, I was already offering online sessions because today I'm with you, tomorrow you're in London. What do we do? Mm. Right? So now we're able to say, look, how often do we want to have sex? Okay, me personally seven times. Ji wewe? Seven ni more, but at least three, sawa. Two out of those three. Sunday afternoon, ndio siko kazini eh yeah. and what other day mimi nimepatia sunday we we let us so that now you're beginning to schedule it and that you're both anticipating yeah. right and let me also normalize one last thing yeah sometimes your sex will be boring okay that's life and it's just like somebody i complained about a day recently maybe a couple of months ago i think i said god today i feel so ugh. And the person, without even knowing that they were saying anything significant, told me, Nisawa, vidoleza mkono azuezi toshana. And ever since that day, if I have a bad day, I say, by the way, if all my fingers were the same length, it would be the stuff of horrors. Eh? Your sex life, some days will be your thumb. Some days it'll be your middle yeah. finger. Sometimes, sometimes it'll be a pinky. And not all sex. One of the things I say, which sounds crass, and it is crass, but it's meant to make a point in a humorous way. Right. Sometimes there's love making and then sometimes a fuck is just a fuck. That's just it. I mean I know it sounds crass but you know what I mean? Yeah. There is a sex of kujikuna. Before we talk about school fees, rent, my good day. First of all, first of all, like if I came in here and said, "Nonsisi, I'm ready for the show but I'm starving." Yeah. Quickly you know. Food. Let me get her a snack she can have, right? Sometimes sex is just sex. No, it doesn't have to mean anything. anything. But this only works in in relationships where there is a foundation of friendship and love. Okay. Because some days you will even say ya leo ni yako. Because hey, truly bibi nakupatia tu leo. Leo ndio si wewe sema sikupendi. <laughs> leo ni wewe napatia. Unataka aje? Una, <laughs> wewe sema tu kile unataka. Lakini na wewe ile siku ile siku nitataka. Yes. That is now the spectrum. Wow. Some days the colors of sex are deep and special and meaningful and other days it's just ebu nikuna kune nikuna kune hapo nyuma ya shingo kidogo just to get by. It's just to get it out of your system because remember it's a biological drive. It's us who have put a lot of meaning behind it which is okay. We are human beings. It's what we do. But physiologically you could be stimulated by anybody and you would respond. Wow. So sometimes sex will just be sex. I think that is our closing statement. Sometimes <laughs> sex will just be sex. Sometimes you will make love, but bottom line, let this be founded on a friendship and friendship um love and love and yeah yes. love, and, love friendship. and friendship don't just go saying sex with sex with just anyone out there yes. and yeah. And please. can I say one last thing? Yes, please. Sex is consent. Oh, it's consent. Actually, yes. sexual con Let me tell you some, why I say this and I know we're pressed for time so I'll say it quickly. It's okay. Sex can only be called sex if it is sexual contact between two or more consenting adults of sound mind. mind. That entire statement has to be accurate from beginning to end. Okay, let's do it again. So sexual contact between, between two, two or more because not everybody is having oh, yeah. monogamous hey, sex. Oh, yeah, some. Okay. Uh-huh. I mean, we're in 2022. Yeah. I I am a sex therapist. I'm not going to seen... pretend. <laughs> okay. Two or more. Two or more consenting, consenting adults. adults. Sexual contact between, between two, two or, or more, more consenting. Consent, consenting 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 adults yes that's why yeah they've agreed of sound mind of sound mind if you're drunk you're not of sound mind okay if you are unwell you're not of sound mind if you're under the age of 18 in this you're country not you're not of sound, sound mind. mind okay if you wanted just you and your husband and now he's brought in another girl or another guy and, you don't want. and you're not consenting to that 
that That's cannot not, be sex. Okay. So sexual violation is when any piece of that entire statement is I in place. I feel like we need to have a, That's whole, a whole show, show of sex yes. consent. The reason I put it in this show briefly is because even if you're shagging your way all around Nairobi, and you're sleeping with anything that moves, as long as you, you are consenting and you're of sound mind, and your partner or partners are consenting and, and they, they are of sound mind, mind and they are adults because that's yeah. a requirement i'm not here to hold a moral judgment sex is not just for married people christians i know you don't want to hear that but i'm not here as a christian i'm here as a, as a, as a sex as, therapist yeah. okay i'm um, as long as you're an adult of sound mind and you're consenting any sexual act you want that does not violate another person okay is sex okay but it has to have a foundation of clarity yeah and then between couples love and friendship okay so at the very least be clear okay clarity is key clarity i love love and friendship for those who, who want are, to be in a oh. relationship wow Whew. Maggie, just <laughs> drop gems we need to digest that <sighs> thank you so much for watching do you want her back again I do <laughs> because we need to talk about so many things. But while we are t- what what are your social media handles? Where can we get to you? Because I know, I mean, people would love to come for sessions. I know they would. They're not saying, but hey, <laughs> 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 what are you yeah. By the way, um, um, let me say the easiest way to find me is on Instagram and on Twitter. Give us your handles. My Instagram is so simple. Maggie the therapist. Oh my God. Yeah. Maggie the therapist. Okay. The bio will tell you okay. right and then on twitter it's maggie the therapist uh, yeah or maggie the mezzo so my twitter has both okay. maggie the therapist maggie the mezzo okay and you do answer dms i do my dms are open i don't respond to hi and that's just because i can't keep up yeah so please just say hi maggie i saw you on on Sizi's show then i know you i'm talking to her not a bot okay. like a real person. person yes and if you don't hear from me in 24 48 hours remind me yeah it's not personal yeah Sinanga Madarao. okay yeah i know Aunanga Madarao. <laughs> thank you so much we've learned a lot and i know you'll be back i hope so yeah I you have, will be i have to say being on your show has been a true pleasure thank you a true pleasure please what is it follow subscribe, subscribe do everything share raise her up in the light of goodness well, because, let's have yes. investors we need you absolutely <laughs> if you're an investor please listen to me because i'm a serious person i know this girl is the real deal and i'm serious i'm not just saying that thank you yeah. so much thank you <laughs> you're welcome oh my god it's been a great show please i can't even say anything more we just need to go and just you know soak that in and you know we're gonna have another show but let's just soak this one in mm-hmm. and thank you so much for watching leave your comment leave your questions by the way mm-hmm. she'd come back and answer them would be happy to have her until next time i love you thank you so much for being here